四十三。The Times Lake Council approves borrowing m i l l i o n s of g o a M. 二零一五年七月八日 ，Bill Dolan source。The Times Munster and July 零八 Crown Point Lake County Councilwoman L. C. Franklin D. Gary came back to work Tuesday just in time to help fellow county officials win initial approval for new million sub go million borrowing program. The fiscal board voted in the year to approve on first reading an ordinance authorizing the county to issue a million sub e million bond for asbestos removal. Roof repair and other upgrades to county government buildings, and a million t e t million bond for county road repair. Gulp Councilman Dan Danulk, R Highland, and Elden Strong, R Crown Point, R post borrowing that amount, but failed to separate the two bonds to trim borrowing to support only the road work. Strong said he was informed by the council's financial director the county has a million e s of bad million in an uncommitted reserve. Lake County doesn't have a revenue problem; it has a spending problem. Strong said after the meeting. He said he also believes splitting the borrowing into two separate bonds is an attempt to skirt a state law requiring local government to put any borrowing over millions of e million before the voters in the referendum. Councilwoman Christine Sint, D. East Chicago, voted against the bond issue. Saying she had reservations about borrowing again only six months after having passed a million sub e million bond issue. You must have known of these repairs before. I want to plan. Are we going to borrow again in six months? Sit wondered aloud. But the bond won a majority of council supporters with the return of Franklin, who had missed sub go previous regular and budget workshop meetings since April 1 0 0 0 sub c. She joined Council President Ted Pilsky, D. Harbert, David Ham, D. Hammond, and Jamal Washington, D. Merrillville, in voting for more borrowing. Franklin said after the meeting she had been in a variety of hospitals in recent months for treatment of illness associated with a lifetime of smoking. She said she hopes to return to a full-time job of being a council member in the coming months. Pilsky. Washington and County Commissioner Roosevelt Allen D. Gary said the spending was necessary now before the asbestos as a health hazard to those working in the county prosecutor's office, and roof repairs must be made at the county juvenile detention center to avoid a new intervention by the U.S. Department of Justice on behalf of juvenile inmates. Justice officials have forced the county to spend additional millions of dollars to upgrade healthcare and sanitation in the county jail. There was an unanimous agreement that about miles of county roads, primarily in South County, need repair. Council President Ted Pilsky said combining the bond issues in a single ordinance simplifies the issue. Anyone opposed to this should do some soul searching, Pilsky said. He said the county is attending to infrastructure maintenance that was long deferred over years when property tax reductions required delays in public works. Larry Blanchard, an administrative assistant for the Board of Commissioners, said an argument can be made for borrowing now because the cost of borrowing is likely to rise later this year when federal regulators permit long, suppressed interest rates to rise. County government is spending nearly million baht in baht million in interest payments on million yap baht yap sub million in bond size suit in year 2000 baht. The repayment schedule stretches into year 2000 sam sub. Copyright C. Year 2000 yap sub. The Times Munster and visit the Times Munster and at www. The Times come distributed by Tribune Content Agency LLC.